This is Ronnie here from Southern Food Junkie, and I got tagged for the crazy food tag. So let's get to it. I'm going to read these off of the sheet, and I'll answer them one at a time. Uh, Keith and Abby Miller from uh, AKA Our Life is the one that tagged me. And uh, so here we go. What food would you eat every day? I would have to either say pizza or macaroni and cheese. What is your favorite restaurant? Um, I can't say that I have a favorite because I like so much different food. Um, but I would say that as far as like a franchise type restaurant, probably Texas Roadhouse or Olive Garden. And it's more of a... Of a um, I also like this place uh, that's close to us. It's a franchise restaurant, but it's a smaller franchise restaurant called Firebirds. And they have them across the country. It's just not many of them. They originated here in Charlotte, North Carolina, close to where I live. Um, what city has the best food you've ever had? I would have to say Charleston, South Carolina. They have tons of, uh, of awesome food, seafood, all type of food you can imagine. Um, if you watch a lot of the Food Network, they're all the time showing restaurants from Charleston. There's lots of um, uh, highly acclaimed chefs that have moved there. And Charlotte, North Carolina would probably be my close second. Um, let's see here. What do you get on your sub? Uh, again, I, I change a lot, but I would say I, I like pretty much everything on it. Um, I like... Uh, you know, like if I were to get a turkey sub, I would get probably lettuce, tomato, uh, mustard, um, probably some pickles, black olives. If they had green olives, I'd put them on there. Banana peppers, green peppers, spinach, you know, the whole nine yards. I do not like mayonnaise on sandwiches, and um, I do like it in, I mean, I, I will eat it in condiments like ranch or, uh, or if it's in slaw, something like that. Um, let's see here. What do you get on your pizza? I like, uh, I like all kind of pizza. I like it all the way. I like barbecue pizza. But probably my favorite would be, uh, pineapple and ham or Canadian bacon. Uh, some people call it Hawaiian pizza. And yes, pineapple does belong on pizza. Love it. Sweet and salty is a great combination there. You got the sweet from the pineapple, salty from the cheese. So let's move on to the next one. Is there a food you have always wanted to try? Mm. You know, growing up, I didn't try a lot of different foods, but now I do try to uh, to eat a lot of different types of food. Um, I've had uh, I've I've had um, you know ceviche. I've had steamed octopus. Uh, I've always wanted to try ostrich, though. We'd love to have uh, ostrich steak. There's a really nice restaurant up in Boone, North Carolina, uh, called The Gamekeeper, and they serve all types of... It's a really high-end restaurant. They serve all types of uh, game uh, meat and stuff like that, bison, uh, elk, stuff like that. We'd always want to try that. heard it was really good. Um, worst restaurant experience... I can't really think of one. I, I kind of have a funny one. Uh, when me and my wife uh, first, either we were dating or first got married, there was this restaurant that I'd always wanted to try, and it was way out in the country, nothing around it, and it's this little tiny town called Boykin, South Carolina. It's right outside of Camden, South Carolina. I don't know if you've ever heard of a Boykin Spaniel uh, dog, but this is uh, where this dog originated from. And, um, and like I said, there's nothing there but a little grits meal and a little volunteer fire department and two restaurants. And I had visited one restaurant many times. It was more like a grill. And I always wanted to visit this other restaurant. So me and the wife, I surprised her one day. We were actually, uh, like I said, we were either about to get married or either just got married. And we were going to look at houses. And, and I told her I was going to take her someplace special. We went to this place. It's an old 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 post office from like the 19 early 1900s hand hewn beams inside uh big picture windows and it overlooks this big old lake that nobody fishes but except for the lady that owns it alligators ducks i mean it's a beautiful place 
Um, from the outside, it don't look like much, and it was a steakhouse, and I always seen people going there. And uh, when we got the menu, we, you know, like I said, we were just starting our careers off. We didn't have much money. We were looking for a house. Uh, they brought us the menu, and the menu was on parchment paper, kind of nailed to a cedar board, uh, real rustic type looking. And uh, it was, needless to say, it was a very, very expensive restaurant. We were very dressed, uh, down dressed for this place. It was uh, probably, you could have probably equate it to like a Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Um, we got out of there, it was like $80 with tip and all. We had two steaks, one baked potato that we split, and we both drank water. And it was 80 bucks. So, that, I wouldn't say, it's uh, something that we look back on now. It's funny to us. I wouldn't say it was a bad experience, but next one, who's the better cook, your mom or dad? I'd probably say my mom. My mom loves to bake and cook, and uh, I probably learned a lot of stuff from her. My dad had always made the gravy, and he, he did cook breakfast a lot. And if we were having uh, some type of game meat like uh, venison or if we were cooking fish, daddy, daddy always cooked that. Um, yeah, what is one food? What is the one food you just failed at making? I'm not really sure. I'm pretty resilient when it comes to cooking. If it's something that I'm not good at, I keep trying it until I get it, you know, get it better. Um, I, I don't try a lot of technical stuff like souffles and things on that line. So I probably would fail at making things like that. But just normal cooking, I think I do pretty decent at it. Um, nothing really comes to mind on that. What is your least favorite food? Uh, I like most foods. Um, I would probably say maybe mushrooms. I'm not a big mushroom eater. Um, I will eat them if they're in mixed in stuff, but I don't like them like some people just like to cook them and eat them. Uh, raw or cooked veggies, I like both a lot. Uh, but I would say uh, steamed is my favorite. Or either sauteed, so cooked. How do you like your steak? Medium. I like my steak medium. Do you enjoy cooking or baking? I'd say cooking, but I do like baking too. I don't do it that often. What is your favorite fast food place? Um, I don't eat. I mean, I'll do, I do reviews of fast food places. A lot of times, I'm not really big on fast food. I love sandwich shops like Jersey Mike's. Um, I don't eat hardly any of the hamburger joints like McDonald's, Hardee's. Uh, Burger King, uh, unless it's like a, a breakfast biscuit. I, I like Bojangles, which is kind of a regional. Uh, Chick-fil-A is pretty good. Um, I will eat at Arby's every once in a while. Um, but I'd say one of the sandwich shops, uh, probably Firehouse Subs right now. It's kind of like my favorite thing right now. Or either Moe's Southwest Grill. I like them too. Although their chicken has recently changed, and I, I'm not liking it. Uh... Name, uh, let's see, name a food place you wish it was closer to you. Um, I like to try Water Waterburger, even though it's a fast food place. I've seen Keith talk about, Keith Miller from AKAR Life talk about this honey butter uh, chicken sandwich that they have for breakfast. I'm really interested in trying that. We do have one, I don't know, it may be 45 minutes to an hour away. I haven't made a, round, uh, a trip for that, but I need to. Uh, ultimate favorite dessert. I love anything with chocolate. I like rich desserts. Um, another one, my mom makes this uh, dessert called Mexican fruit cake. It's got pineapple and nuts in it and like a homemade cake batter with this cream cheese icing on top. It's very, very good. Love that. What do you, let's see, what food do you gravitate more towards at a party or get together? Um, uh, I like the dips. I like uh, um, stuff like jalapeno poppers or uh, finger food, I guess. Um, outside of stuff like that, I'm not really a big chip eater. Potato chips or, or, or that. I don't... Like if I was going to buy a snack, I wouldn't probably buy potato chips. Um, but I do like the dips, and I like to use the chips with the dip. And uh, jalapeno poppers or... Uh, like the cocktail weenies or pasta salad, I like that. 
So things along those lines, I guess. Uh, that's kind of an odd question, though. Favorite foods to eat at Christmas? I'd have to go with desserts. I love uh, Christmas time. As a kid, my mom would always make all these different kind of desserts. Chocolate dipped Oreos, uh, which now you can buy those commercially made, and peanut butter balls, and you know things along those lines. I love that. Uh, also, this is a kind of uh, a tradition we have. Every Christmas Eve, we have oyster stew and corn dogs. I'm not sure where that started, why it started, or how it started, but it's a tradition of ours. So I, I look forward to that. Um, we'll see. What's the What's the first food that comes to mind now? Uh, let's see, hibachi chicken. How about that? Do you have any uh, weird food habits? Uh, I probably do. Um, I like peanut butter on my pancakes before I put syrup on it. Um, I'm sure there's tons of them. Uh, I, I like... I like uh, fudge rounds with sharp cheddar cheese on it. I hadn't done that in a while, but that's really good. And I know that's kind of weird. Um, I, as a kid, I used to put ketchup in my grits and on uh, my eggs, but I don't really like that anymore like I used to. But I don't know if peanut butter on pancakes is considered weird. Y'all can let me know in the comments below. Um, I do like the mixed foods. Like if I have mashed potatoes and pinto beans and corn, I like to mix all that up. So I don't mind foods being mixed together. Don't bother me. Um, let's see here. What holiday is your favorite for food? Uh, most people have said Thanksgiving. I'd say that's mine too. What's one food uh, you're never to try? I say something kind of weird like maybe monkey brains or something like that. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Or chitlins. I'm not going to do that either. Do you know your best friend's favorite food? Let's see, uh, my buddy Mark, uh, I know what his favorite food is because he always gets the same thing when he goes to restaurants, and it's a club sandwich. So most of the time when he goes to a restaurant, he gets a club sandwich. Um, let's see here. What's the best thing your mom makes? Um, one thing, uh, that I like that my mom makes is these hamburger patties and, uh, and like a brown gravy love that we'd have that with like pinto beans and rice gravy it's good what's your favorite style of egg scrambled poached boiled over easy sunny side up i like them all uh i'm not as really really big on poached eggs as much but i'd say my favorite which is not on the list is omelets or a omelet name a favorite restaurant that is closed down one of our favorite restaurants that is closed down, and I hadn't looked to see if this just closed down in our area or national. It is a franchise, and it was called Rafferty's. And uh, one of the favorite things they had there, um, you know how a lot of restaurants bring in rolls? They had these crescent rolls that were drizzling in this honey. It's very, very good. Do you like your bread toasted, light, or dark? I say light. Do you like sp spicy foods? Yes. Do you like seafood? Most definitely, I love seafood. And uh, first food that comes to mind when you think of green, and I'm gonna say Brussels sprouts. I'm not a big fan of those. Guy, I appreciate this, uh, Keith and Abby, for tagging me. Uh, this is my first tag video that I've ever done, so uh, I, I did enjoy it. And I like to tag. Uh, I don't know if they'll do it or not, and don't you don't have to feel obligated. But I'd like to tag uh, Joe from Two Dogs. And Dan from Home in the Sticks. And one more person, Eileen uh, and Dana from Beer Belly Travelers. Y'all guys have been tagged. If you want to, you do. If you don't, you don't have to feel obligated. I know how it is. And guys, I appreciate y'all watching. And let's get food junk. See y'all later.